I'm here with Lincoln. Look how big he's getting. He is 12 weeks. Oh, yeah, look at you smiling. Look at you smiling. Yeah. He is 12 weeks. I can't even believe it. It's like so crazy how fast it's gone by. Also kind of slow, but kind of fast. <laughs> um, so he's here with me filming today. We are gonna share with you um, five beauty Amazon must have items or five things that I love from, that I've gotten off Amazon beauty edition. I have quite a few different editions that are gonna happen. So each one's gonna be five different products. So before we jump into the Amazon favorites, I wanted to chat with you about our sponsor for this portion of the video, which is Dossier. If you guys are not familiar with Dossier or you've missed some of my previous videos, Dossier is a perfume company that makes amazingly smelling perfumes based off of all of our favorite high-end fragrances. And the nice thing about Dossier is they are made with cleaner ingredients. They last amazing on the skin and in your on your clothes, in your hair but they also are a fraction of the cost. I love smelling good, and sometimes buying a bunch of fragrances can be very, very pricey, but Dossier has an amazing price point. Most of them are like anywhere from $29 to $39, and they smell exactly like the fragrances that I know and love that I have bought the high end time and time again. So one of them is actually a dupe for one of the high end ones that I purchased recently. And I'm like, why did I do that? Because Dossier has it and it smells just as good. It's a fraction of the price and it honestly lasts on my skin way better or on my clothes way better than the high-end version so the first one i'm going to talk to you about is this one here and they come in a box like this they also have like a little sample in there too so you can try it before you use the full size that way you can make sure you like the way that it smells because all perfumes smell different on different people like there are perfumes that smell so good on some like on my friend but then when i try it, it does not smell the same and so it's kind of nice to be able to try it, see if you like it, how it mixes with your chemistry. So this one is Floral Honeysuckle, and it is a dupe for the Gucci Bloom Eau de Parfum fragrance, which I'm not typically a floral person. If you guys have followed me, you know I don't really love real florally scents, but I smelt it in Ulta, and I was like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. And I bought it, and then I was like, why did I just do that? Because I can get it off Dossier for even cheaper. <laughs> so... That one is going back and I now have the Dossier version. And that one is, um, the top notes on it are green leaves, orange, and honeysuckle. The middle notes are jasmine, sandback, and tuberose. And the base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. And this one smells so amazing. I've shown you guys the packaging before, but if you haven't seen it, it is very simplistic, which I love. I have a whole thing. I don't think you'll be able to see them, but they're all right back there. And I love how they all are like simple. They all look so beautiful together. So this one smells, gosh, it's so good. It's definitely a floral scent, which you guys know, I'm more into like the sweet or like more vanilla scents, but it's a very light floral scent. And I wore this and Ted's not big on the floral scents either. He kept asking what I was wearing and I'm like, it is the floral honeysuckle perfume from Dossier. And it smells so good. It's a very light floral, so it's not like an overpowering floral. It's very perfect for like spring and summer. Um, it's light, it's not like offensive. It's not too florally that you're just kind of like, wow, I just got hit with a bouquet of flowers. It's a very, very good floral. So if you are typically not a floral kind of girl, I recommend trying this because I think you'll actually really like it. Cause again, I don't like florally perfumes and I am so obsessed with it. I can't stop wearing it. And then the other one that I got is floral yling yling. And this one is inspired by Chanel Gabrielle. And this one is Lily grapefruit, blackberry, uh, yling yling, tuberose, jasmine, musk, orange blossom, and orris. And I got to give this one a sniff again too. Liv and I opened all these and um, smelled them because she's like obsessed with smelling candles and perfume just like me. So it's super fun that we get to do that together. Let's spray this one more time and get a fresh spritz of it. Yeah, I, I can smell the grapefruit. And then, you know what? It has a slight spice to it. There is like a little bit of a spice 
that I can smell, and I'm not sure what that is, like which one of those notes it might be, but it's light with a slight spice and a little bit of the grapefruit, but it's really, really nice. It's a different fragrance for me, but I really like it. Um, out of the two, my favorite is definitely the Floral Honeysuckle. That one is like a must have. You can watch um, some of my other videos and see what other recommendations I have too, but they have so many good fragrances for your high-end favorite perfumes at a fraction of the cost. $29 to $39 is typically what their fragrances run. They have men's fragrances, unisex fragrances, and they're constantly coming out with new scents too. So they smell amazing. The price point is amazing. They're made with better for you ingredients. They don't have all those harsh chemicals in them. And they're absolutely like beautiful, beautiful scents. And again, just like aesthetically so beautiful. I feel like sometimes high-end perfumes like have the most gaudy packaging. And I love just having the simplicity of all of these beautiful fragrances all lined up on my little uh, fragrance little tray in the back there. So thank you again, Dossier, for partnering with me on this portion of the video. Down in the description box below, I will have a coupon code and a link for you. You can just click on that and it'll take you right to their website and save you guys some money on your first order. And now let's jump into our Amazon beauty favorites. Do 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 do. You like mommy crazy, crazy girl. We are gonna jump right into our Amazon beauty must-haves. These are products that I'm loving, and I think you guys will love as well. We're gonna start off with a brush cleaner because. I've been on the hunt for a really good brush cleaner. I'm horrible at remembering to clean my brushes. Who has the time? It honestly hurts my back standing at the sink cleaning a million brushes. So for those spot cleans, like those really good spot cleans for like your um, eyeshadow brushes especially, I picked this up and I am unbelievably obsessed with it. It's the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. You get this big old thing here. I just pour a little bit in the cap and you put your brush like, I think it says a quarter to a half of the way in and the product like soaks up into the bristles and then you just use a towel and zhuzh it on the towel and then let it dry. You don't have to have water. You don't have to like go stand at the sink for hours. You can just quickly clean your brush. They dry super quickly. So if you're done doing your makeup, just clean them off really quick. By the next time you need to do your makeup the next day, they're perfect. I mean, they dry faster than a day. Like I'm sure in the matter of a couple hours or minutes, they might be ready. But this stuff is amazing. You don't need much and it cleans the brushes so nice. Like some of mine have been caked on with like eyeshadow and I've washed them in the sink with different cleansers and it didn't really get them that clean. This has gotten it super, super clean. So the Cinema Secrets Pro Quick Drying Rinse-Free Formula, this stuff is amazing. The next thing is a sunscreen. This is the Sun Bum Glow 30. And this is a beautiful, beautiful sunscreen. It has a beautiful glow to it. Um, doesn't feel greasy. Your makeup goes over it really nicely. It's their SPF 30 water resistant, dewy radiant glow um, sunscreen. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand here. This is what, does it smell? It doesn't smell. You know how sun bum stuff usually smells. So this one doesn't smell, but it gives a gorgeous glow to the skin that's not like shimmery. It just looks glowy and healthy. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? So it's not gonna give you like a shimmery, glittery glow. It's gonna give you like an absolutely beautiful radiant from within glow. So that I love. I've been using that. The other one that I've been switching back and forth between is that one and then this one I heard from Sam, Sam Sherman, my bestie. It's the, This is what it looks like. Um, medical grade skincare, universal tinted moisturizer, SPF 46. So this one's a little bit of a stronger SPF. I'll do it on the other hand. And she mixes this with the uh, Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Drops, which I started doing because we copy each other on everything. And I love it too. So this is the one I have under my makeup today. So there's the Dermatology one, I'll link that one. And then this is the Glow. So I think that the Sun Balm looks like it has a little bit more of a glow than the Dermatology one, but they're both absolutely, what are you doing crazy boy? 
Oh, you're so excited. I think he wants to like lay on the floor and kick his little legs. Um, both of them are absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for a gorgeous, really pretty inexpensive skincare glowy product for your face, either of these are amazing. Um, I love them both. I couldn't pick between the two. I, I just love the glow that they give. So either one of these are phenomenal and I would recommend both of them. So yeah. You decide for yourself which one you like because I can't pick between the two and you can't make me. So let's move to the next. So both of those are amazing. I love them both. I interchange them. So whatever one you want to get, I think you should get. They both play well under your makeup and they both give it a nice glow. One is SPF 46. The other one is SPF 30. This one is two fluid ounces. The other one is 1.7. So you can decide which one you like. They're both really, really good. All right, the next thing is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is amazing. You used to be able to get it at Ulta. Now you can get it off their website or Amazon. I've already gone through a bottle and a half of these. I have it in a few different shades. This one's Neutral Toffee. Neutral Hazel is the one that I typically use. And then I got Neutral Sand. And I kind of can mix between them depending on how self-tanned I am. But phenomenal phenomenal foundation it lasts all day i did a whole video i'll link up in the little info card thing that pops up um of a like how to make your makeup last all day this is the foundation i used and it's seriously so good i love it it's amazing so long wearing feels like skin lasts all day um, it's one of the very few foundations i can wear sunglasses and it doesn't wear off like right here on my nose so this is phenomenal and with that, the last thing that I'll mention in this video is the concealer. This is the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. Hi, buddy. Do you miss Murphy? Our other dog is at training for six weeks, yeah. which is really sad. So Finn's like not sure what to do with himself because there's only one dog and then Finn will go and then Murphy will come back. So this is the Catrice True Skin. I have it in two, two different shades, Neutral Biscuit and What's the other one I have? Uh, cool Cashmere. And it's a beautiful, great coverage concealer. It lasts all day. It doesn't, I mean, all concealers I feel like crease if you have little fine lines, but it doesn't crease badly. Um, it's one of the least creasy ones. It feels hydrating, beautiful coverage. It just looks really nice. It doesn't look cakey or crepey or dry. Uh, so this one is fantastic. It says it has hyaluronic acid and it's waterproof. I've never tried to swim or I don't have watery eyes, so not something I've tested, but it does last all day. It's still on there at the end of the night when I take my makeup off. I do my makeup at 5 a.m., usually wash it off about eight o'clock at night. So I get a pretty decent amount of wear out of my makeup and both of these hold on absolutely amazing on my skin. So that is it for my five beauty, ooh, my five beauty favorites off of Amazon. Let me know some of your favorite beauty products that you'd like me to try off Amazon. Leave them down in the comments below. Thank you again, Dossier, for partnering with me on this portion of the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Can you say bye? Say bye-bye.